An original musical produced by pupils and staff of Tiverton School, in which Felix battles against unemployment and a world of cutthroat competition. For several years now, the Tiverton School Music Society's annual production has been an Felix Aquarius, which is set in the near future. Felix is a young man struggling to find himself in an era of unemployment and cutthroat competition. We present a film version using the original cast of Felix Aquarius. Hi, my name's Dave. I'm Felix's mate, the Felix Aquarius, that is. Let me tell you about Felix. He's 18 and a half, and he's been out of work since he left school, which was about six months ago. You know, at first it didn't seem too bad, but then he got to wondering whether there wasn't more to life than cafes, pubs, and the occasional party. Ah, but that last day at school is great to remember. Pull the gang together. Then, along came the real world. Six months later, things looked even worse. No job and no apparent prospects. And to make matters worse, Felix's parents didn't really see things his way. Hi, Mum. Hello, Felix. Any luck with a job? Oh, no. Same old story. Fifty applicants for one crummy warehouseman's job. Well, what did they say to you? They said I was too intelligent. They'd be afraid I'd leave as soon as I found something better. Which is true, I suppose. Hi, kids. Hello, Felix. Oh, any luck with the job? I'm oh, afraid not, Dad. Do you want to come see the stones? Look, that was last Sunday, Dad. And I'm broke. I'm bored and I'm sick of life at the moment. Felix, how can you say that? You have a home, a family who love you, food, music. Something will turn up. Just relax and think positively. Oh, yes, Dad. Stay cool and everything will turn out fine. Look, you're living in the past, Dad. The peace and quiet and a bunch of flowers don't get one very far nowadays. Inflation, you know. Unemployment top three million last month. Or were you too busy reading your new musical express to notice? Felix, there's no need to be rude to your father. He's only trying I to... I know, Mum, but that's about as far as it goes. Look, it's no good just relaxing and waiting for something to turn up. I'm nearly 19, for God's sake, and I've achieved absolutely nothing. When I was 19? When you were 19, you were probably so stoned you didn't know what day it was, Dad. What did I do to deserve that? Mind you, he's quite right. I must admit, I am worried about Felix, though. He seems so involved in his so-called failures to see what a future he could have. Well, why don't you tell him that? I have done. But who listens to his father? I know I didn't. He's got to find out for himself. I only hope it doesn't take him too long. Hi, Max. Evening, Phil. Another hard day at the training centre then. Just give us a coffee, eh? I don't know what you do there all day. We turn up like good little boys to get our attendance allowance. So we can spend it on your lousy coffee. You still want some, though, don't you? Oh, yeah, Max, yeah. I've got a lesson today on how to present yourself for an interview. Seems you have a better chance if you shave and wear a clean shirt. Trouble is, though, they never read your letter of application, so you never get to the interview. Thank you, Sir Robin. Now, do I have time to get the coffee before the next question? Oh, sorry, mate. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Whose turn is it to buy our coffee today, then? Oh, look, 
fall over each other in the rush, will you? Look, this is ridiculous, Sharon. You lot are all earning and we're all out of work. Yeah. What's so bad about being out of work anyway? I mean, all day to relax. Enjoy yourselves. Spend the money you haven't got. Get bored. Um, put it on the slate, please, Max. And three more coffees for the girls. Thank you, Bernie. Got to keep the workers happy, you know. Felix, how are you, mate? Oh, come on, cheer up. Let's skip it, Dave. I'm not really in the mood today. Hi, all. Hi, Hi Felix. How do the interview go? Or shouldn't I ask? Oh, same old story, Sharon. I was unsuitable for the job. Some moron who looked like he was on parole from Paint Zoo got it. Well, you're obviously not, are you? Not what? Suitable for the job. Oh, that's great, that is. Even your own girlfriend's lost faith in me. Well, those are silly. You're too good to be a warehouse man. That's why you didn't get the job. So, what do your parents say? Oh, nothing particularly positive. They seem to think I sort myself out. Look, Felix, you seem to be the only one who doesn't see the obvious solution. You've got a lot going for you, or at least you could have, if you were only prepared to leave Devon. Oh, now you're trying to get rid of me. No, that's not true. I'm sorry. Look, let's face it, if you want to get anywhere, you're going to have to make things happen. And they're not going to happen when you're sitting on your backside down here. And you've come to a halt You're on the scrap heap You've shot your bolts Don't believe them when they say it's your fault You're only one in three million Felix, uh, about seven o'clock, I think. Plenty of time now. Come on, something to do, eh? Us? Yeah, come on. Felix, why not? Perhaps they need a shelf stacker. Very intellectually stimulating work. So Sharon tells me. <laughs> come on, then. <laughs> yeah.
I'm leaving. You what? Leaving where? Leaving Devon. Come on. Look, I'm going to London to seek my fortune. Look, stop mucking about, Felix. Dick Whittington had it easy, mate. And anyway, you haven't got a cat. <laughs> Look, I'm not joking, Dave. Well, what are you going to do? I've got this aunt I can stay with in Bayswater. Look, I guess I'll just hang around and see what comes up. But that's what everyone's been telling me to do. Now I'm going to do it. Surely you'd have to leave just to get a job. Wasn't that a bit drastic? Look, we'll see. My mind's made up, Dave. Bye, lads. Well, here we are again a year later. Amazing how time flies, isn't it? Felix got to London, and we didn't hear from him much, apart from a couple of postcards to Sharon, one of Trafalgar Square, and one of a gorilla. Anyway, a couple of months after he left, there was this short article in the national press all about this polychromatic, aromatic polyhedron. You install it, and it runs your life. It makes your dreams come true. Lilac, magenta, and aquamarine, colours whose names have come out of a dream. Violet, crimson, azure, or puce, trying to pin down the colours, no use. It's a polychromatic, aromatic, polyhedron, and you use it to be magic fair. Sense you remember and sigh. Bisto kid wafting a gravy and pie. Sea spray and aniseed, ouzo and dew. New moon grass chocolates, poppies and glue. It's polychromatic, aromatic, polyhedron, and you use it to be magic fair. an impossible task. The answer is different, whoever you ask. Millions have bought it, but none can disclose what no one but Felix Aquarius knows. personal. I think it's your mother's handwriting. Thank you, Anna. Dear Felix, 
Your father and I are very sorry to hear that you've sold out to the capitalist gravy train. It really spaces us out to think that a kid of ours should be wearing a tie and travelling first class. I really thought you knew that the consumer society stinks. What hurts us most is that you're pretending to bring back the great days of the 60s, when what you're really on is a bad trip. Don't come and see us. It would be too painful. Love, peace man, your mother. Are you feeling quite well today, sir? Oh, yes, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me that a doctor can cure. But what I need to do is to get away from it all for a while. That's it. Tenerife. Devon. Devon? For how long, sir? I don't know. Book me a road ticket to Exeter, please. Return? No, one way. But there are no business prospects in Devon. Exactly. I'm leaving this a lot to you for a while. Tell them I'm away on business and take over all my appointments yourself. But and don't say you can't do it. You know very well you can. Just look upon it as an instant promotion. What? Right. I think that's it. Au revoir, old desk. Or is it goodbye? At the disembodied voice There are for tea or coffee But they're frightened of the choice It's hard enough to face the crossword clues Is this the life they wanted? Was it all a great mistake? Behind the gold-rimmed glasses Are they sleeping or awake? They're reading but they don't take in the news What are you doing tonight? Oh, I thought I might go to Billy's party. Dave's picking me up tonight, so it has to catch the bus. That means I'll have more time to get ready. Are you going out with Dave, Sharon? Um, not exactly. Um, he just takes me out now and again, that's all. Oh, he just takes you out now and again, does he? You're lucky to find anybody to take you anywhere in this godforsaken place. Excuse me, where's the cat food? Over there, next aisle. Felix! What on earth are you doing here? I thought you were up in London making money. I was, but it all sort of got on top of me. When a dream actually comes true, it doesn't seem to work out the way you imagined it would. That sounds like the old Felix. Oh, I knew you'd say that. I've been practicing what to say to you on the train on the way down and anticipating your reaction. Well, what do you want, Felix? I knew you'd say that too. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Wend. Uh, is Madam ready now? I mean, the Rolls is waiting in the drive. Dave. Yes, madam? Uh, there's something you haven't noticed. Oh, uh, five pence off Wizzo. Fish fingers even bigger this week. Dave. No, no, I've started, so you'll have to let me finish. Dave, Felix is here. Felix? God, Felix. I didn't recognize you in the suit. Dave. How are you, mate? Well, uh, well, what are you doing down here, then? Oh, I, I just popped down to see my friends. So... Sharon. Look, Felix, Dave and I are going to a party at Billy's tonight. Look, why don't you come along? I mean, all your gang will be there and we could talk about... Old times. That'll be great. Now, come on, Sharon, I just remembered. I'm on double yellow lines.
wanted to write you a new song for April It didn't get written till May You'd vanished before the chance to deliver The part that I hoped you would play My heart was composing a perfect tomorrow Instead of enjoying today Too busily planning to hold you forever To notice you slipping away So I'm sitting at the keyboard With the song I wrote too late Transposing it into a minor key With a song I wrote for April That's already out of date And an empty place Where you were meant to be What's the matter with you, anyway? Nothing. It's him, isn't it? You know, it's him when he's at home. Oh, him? It's Sir Felix Bloody Aquarius, OBE, who's come down here to see if his local yokel friends need new straws for their mouths. Oh, come on, Dave. Twelve months ago, he was your best friend. Twelve months ago, you were his girlfriend. And he thinks he can come down here and just walk all over us. I would have got out there and sought him out. Oh, don't be silly, Dave. There's no need for you to behave like this. He's just going to see us. Come on, then, Felix. Right, okay, Dave. Stop knocking about. Get on with the path. Right, second day. Dong. And it's Aquarius in the blue corner. Look at the approaching David Ali. Dave, come on. And Aquarius is tiring now. Yes, and he puts a couple to the body. And he... Felix. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Come on, I was only messing about. Right, right, Dave. Just, just hey, leave come me on, alone. I'm sorry. Look, Dave, just leave me alone. That's it. I've lost everything. My parents despise me for making money out of a worthless gimmicky toy. I've lost my best friend, and I've lost my girl. But I can't go back to Dad's way. When he was in that commune, where he met Mum, they used to do nothing all day. Just lie about, blowing smoke rings. Well, today, kids haven't got the luxury of choosing to do nothing. It's all they can do. And it doesn't seem so much fun. I got out of that. But what did I get into? Flogging myself into the ground, conning people out of their money with a synthetic dream machine. I don't know what to do with their money, now I've got it, so... Felix, why not just for once? Stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about other people. People are no less important because they come from a small town. It's the people that matter. We've been making a start here in this dreary little town, just like lots of other young people in lots of other towns. We need to share our skills instead of fighting each other. Today, you were a threat from the commercial world. 
We need help. We need help to build a new community. We need people with ideas and energy. People like you, Felix. You've changed, Sharon, while I was away. I didn't realise. Will you join us, Felix? Sharon, I'm not sure what you're saying. But what I am sure of is that our world is in a mess. And the ways that my parents tried didn't work. And the way I tried, it didn't work. I wanted you back because you belong to a world before Aquarius Enterprises. But now I realise that I can learn from you and Dave and all the rest.